All right, how's it going, everybody? It's Lockhart here, and uh, I just want to do a hot take on uh, what would it be like to have Squall come into Final Fantasy Brave Exvius War of the Visions. And uh, I just kind of, it's not going to be super in depth or anything. I just kind of want to give my two cents on it, hoping to see, uh, well, just open to see Final Fantasy VIII, to be honest, because, uh, you know, take all of my money. No, I'm kidding. Um, so, as a point of reference, I'm going to be using Thancred here. And uh, we're just going to take a look at some of his skills. He is the Gunbreaker class, which is not the same as uh, what I think would be the uh, the class that uh, Squall would get. But let's take a look at his skills. This is Blast Zone 1. Cool. Two, two squares of uh, attacking, so not too bad. Looks all right. Let's move him over here. And now we're going to move over here and we're going to use his Rough Divide, which we may have seen a couple times. Gap Closer. Super cool. Killed him by accident. And uh, yeah. So easy peasy. Uh, two major skills that we would get. Um, I think they're, they're uh, pretty great. So yeah, let's go on to Defo, which I would like to uh, also kind of use as a reference point. Um, these are some of the skills that they've adapted into his solid barrel. Hard to see past all those <laughs> numbers. Uh, once upon a time ago, you used to actually be able to see your character's attack instead of just uh, all the numbers that they make. So that's the Renzuko Ken there. The additional attack from Roaring Hammer is actually added on. You, uh, that's I should have turned that off. Assault Trigger. This is cool because it looks like it focuses on speed and he's using a single hand to uh, swing his weapon, which traditionally he's always using two hands to swing his weapon. All right, let's take a look at Rough Divide. One of the uh, iconic moments of the game. And then he's just going to do it again. Roaring Hammer is the buff. And then just a little treat for everybody. Concealed Zeal. It's cool. This is an FR skill. This uh, has a collaboration between two characters. In this particular case, he actually fires his weapon. Straight up. Uh, which you don't really see too often. Which I feel like you should see more of. And then Blasting Zone. And this is this version's game of Blasting Zone. Bam. All right. So that's kind of that in a nutshell. Uh, so that's how you, that's what I, those are kind of two of those. And then uh, we are going to take a quick look at um, the Final Fantasy VIII versions, we'll use the remastered uh, footage um, just because uh, why not stay current if you can? Because it just, you know, in this case, it kind of looks a lot better. Like a lot better. All right, let's take a look at that. All right, Renzuko can going into Rough Divide. The OG version. Faded Circle. Haven't really seen this one done too many times yet. Big AoE. And then Blasting Zone, which we've seen a couple times. And then line hard. I feel like it was hard for them not to make a, an, a limit burst like this or limit break just like this because it was coming off of Final Fantasy 7. All right, that's kind of it. Okie dokes. So. 
um, going back into the class itself, I think the main job will probably be something like uh, starting off with a seed of Balam or something like that, or seed Balam, 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 uh, Balam. And uh, the rest of uh, the other two classes can switch between, I think, either uh, a utility class or something like uh, Paladin or something that offers buffs for the team. Or even a red mage class, which, um, you know, because if you play the game, every character can basically be built the same. They just defer in terms of how they attack and what their limit breaks are. But they can all use the same magic as a junction. Um, and then I think it would be cool to add a missile element to his main class. Because I like the fact that in Concealed Zeal attack that we saw just a second ago. Uh, so this one again. Uh, he actually fires off his gun and um, you don't really see that too often right I think it's cool so um, I think it'd be great to be able to uh, incorporate that in his main job if not be able to kind of like uh, incorporate um, the other parts of the game like you know the magic portion that's not too heavily focused on and uh either you know make him pure deeps or a bruiser i think big dps would be the the thing i would like to see not that we need any more um element element wise i'm not sure where to place him specifically i feel like uh having him as a fire unit may make sense because he does all these explosions and he creates fire through shooting or through his explosions you see a lot of that fire aspect there so maybe that's something they can think about um and the additional two units that would probably come with him are gonna be uh, renoa and probably zell i guess they're they never they always do three protagonists and then antagonists later on or anti-heroes later on uh, I wouldn't mind those three. I think it's just like a staple. Renoa has been in every start of most of uh, uh, games. So like when they did an FFPE, she was like right there. She's got like four renditions. Same as well. Bunch. And, uh, my, and then I just love to be able to see him uh, being uh, reanimated into the World of Universe. I think they've done a great job with all the units so far. You know? I, I have no complaints really when it comes to how great characters from the other Final Fantasies look in this. Not to mention just the other games in general. Again, you guys probably know that I love uh, the world of renditions of the characters that come into this game. So that's my two cents. Um, <laughs> if you've watched until now, please like and subscribe and share. It would help a lot. I'm really trying to start uh something here and try to be a big big part of the community if i can not a big part just a part of it a lot more and i gotta bring her brave up to 97 i didn't even realize um and uh if you guys have any comments uh questions fears please leave them in the leave them in the comments and or pm me whatever you would like uh feedback is always uh, crucial when it comes to growing and being able to figure things out and uh that's my hot take Thanks, guys. Have yourself a great day and uh, catch you later.